and I forgot to grab something to cut the box. Hey guys, good evening. So a treat box came in today. So I thought I would share it with you guys and I thought I would have my husband, Joseph Coco Gaston, help me out. So there are a lot of Japanese subscription treat boxes on the market, I believe like Boxu and there's also uh, the people who do Zen Pop, the stationary box have like several treat boxes and the people who do Inku Crate do several boxes. This is by Sakurako and what attracted me to this box is that it's supposed to be more traditional sweets. My problem with some of the other subscription boxes is if you've got a good Asian grocery store in your area, you're better off just going to the good Asian grocery store. Whereas Sakurako promises, you know, less junk foodie treats as well as teas. So I first saw this on Instagram and I was kind of intrigued and kind of like, no, I'm not doing a food subscription box. And finally I succumbed because we were supposed to go to Japan for our honeymoon and that COVID happened, so that didn't happen. And I've been kind of finding ways to recreate it and scratch that itch at home. So I forgot to grab the box cutter when I was in the other room promoting the stream. So I'm gonna go grab the box cutter and I'll leave Joseph who is trying to pull up the chat on his phone. Thank you for doing that, by the way. Sure. I'll leave him to entertain y'all for just a second. So I'm not the biggest snacks person. I do kind of like Japanese snacks though. So, uh, I did like the snacks that we were able to get when we actually stayed in Japan. Uh, we mostly ate snacks in Kyoto and Osaka. Oh no, I, I ate really snacks all over the place. Getting a whole lot of snacks in Tokyo. I literally any chance I had for snacks, I got snacks. Well, also some of the people in our group uh, purchased a lot of snacks early in Osaka, and some of those got mm -hmm. brought with mm -hmm. to Kyoto, which is kind of a shame because I think Kyoto snacks were probably better. The the preserved ones. The fresh ones might have been better in Osaka, but I don't know. It's not like we're experts. What? I would have thought the fresh... We had a lot of fresh snacks in Kyoto. Remember we went to that on place? We had a lot place of fresh snacks in, in Osaka, um, too. We had a lot of snacks. Yeah. Maybe I had more snacks than you, because I'm like, I snacked the whole time. Anytime there was a family mart, me and Lane would go in, and we'd get a royal milk tea, and we'd get ourselves some sakura doriaki, we were always getting snacks. Now, I apologize if my voice gives out or starts acting kind of weird. Uh, Joseph cooked something spicy earlier, and it's still aeros aerosolized, and it's really bothering me. And I would turn on a fan, but that's going to sound like terrible garbage. So um, you'll just have to bear with me. So Soccer Co. is supposed to include, like, tea-style snacks as well as a matching tea. So we, ha we have an electric kettle full of already boiled, super hot water. It's a Zojirushi kettle. And I thought this could be a wonderful opportunity to break out a little bit of our wedding china. And yeah, my wedding china is the My Neighbor Totoro Studio Ghibli uh, Noritake collaboration. And we've been collecting this piecemeal bit by bit. We're slowly yeah. amassing a collection, but- We, we gathered like four pieces in a short still period of time. That's still bit by bit. And we got eight pieces in a short period of time. So. But I've had that one mug it was more like, forever. Yeah, that's true. But you and got then I had in one Japan, plate right? for, at the Ghibli Museum, yeah. yeah. All right, so that's enough stalling. Bowie's sitting over on the other side, man in the camera. Thank you, dude. So we're gonna go ahead and open this box up. And Joseph doesn't really know anything about this other than snacks. Snacks, 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 snacks. No? I don't think that's in this box. That's not in this box. Snacks box. No. Snacks. Yeah. So I'm going to actually, Joseph, I'm gonna go around and move the camera just a smidgen. Hi, Bo Cat. And I want you to open the box. Of course. Of course. Nice to meet you. Let's have tea. All the best things are shared. Post and tag. You know, all of these companies want us to do their marketing for them. And I mean, I guess I am doing that because. This is very nice stock. This. 
Okay, so what is that? A postcard? Yeah. Oh, but you know what I don't like about it? I would love it if it was just this and the back was blank. But on the back, then you could use it, yeah. On the back there is a message. So it says, hi there, I'm a Yumi, founder of Sakura Co. I can't express how grateful I am to have you join us for the first Sakura Co box. Oh, this is the first box. That's kind of cool. During these- reuse that postcard. Or maybe it's English and they actually mean our first box. I don't think yeah, so. This is well, wit well, well written. So okay. I believe this isn't like an AliExpress listing. Sure. Where <laughs> Okay. During these difficult times when traveling is the last thing on people's minds, I'm so happy that we can share a little piece of Japanese culture with you wherever you are in the world. Throughout the next months and years, I'm so excited to introduce you to new Japanese sweets and snacks while we explore Japanese culture together. And love Ayumi Chikamoto. And I believe this came from Tokyo. And normally the boxes I get Zenpop and Inku Crate came from Osaka. So this one is from Tokyo. I wonder if that's going to reflect different sensibilities or anything. If that is going to anything, anything. So, of course, this is a Sakura theme box. Because I think this is technically the March box. So they sent a thick little magazine of stuff. So it says, Discover Sakura. Snack Guide Volume 1 2021 March. So like I do with most of my unboxings, I'm actually going to set this aside and we're going to take a look at what's in the box and then we'll go back and kind of use this to guide us. All right, so first we received, they're very cute. Uh, I think these are Sakura rice cookies or rice crackers. I don't know if they're Sakura flavored or if they're just cute. We will find out together because there is no English on them. And that's fine. Then we get, ooh, this is soft. I think this is a Doriaki. It's like a strawberry. Yeah, I can, I can read strawberry photos. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. There's actually a fair amount. This was a hefty box. I believe I paid around 30 for it, but I'd have to double check. So uh, after this stream is over, I'm going to update the description with what was inside the box as well as the cost of the box. All right, so we also get two strawberry Castellas. And Castella cake is like a multi-layer cake. It's actually really cool. Um, they, they create the cakes on this round they, it's, so it's almost like a kebab. Oh, that's a layered cake? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's done a little differently for this, well, but it's the layered it's cake the thing. Yeah. yeah. And we get... So you were saying they they have it on a kebab. They kind rotate of thing, yeah. it into a batter, and, mm -hmm. and then it goes into like the heating unit or mm -hmm. whatever, and that cooks it, and then they dip it back into the batter. And, and they just keep the doing that. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. There's a lot in here now that I'm like getting into it. There is an Azuki Taiyaki, so it's like those fish cakes, those fish pastries with red, sweet wet red bean filling. Yeah, there's no way I want to open all of this. Do you actually plan on opening all this? I'm selecting. I'm going to select some things. Okay. Um, this looks like a piece of. Um, it is Okayama White Peach Castella. So yeah, it's Castella cake and it's peach flavor. There's also a piece of Uji Matcha Castella, so matcha or green tea flavored Castella cake. So far, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty excited about what's in this box because this is not, I couldn't just go down to the Asian market and pick any of these things up. This is Probably stuff not. they don't really have. And while they're pre-packaged snacks, it's not just like ramune. Nothing wrong with ramune, but like that's usually what's like used. Like pre-packaged, I assume you mean in plastic, probably mm -hmm. with nitrogen inside, mm -hmm. yeah. as opposed to just like wrapped in paper mm -hmm. with banana. That wouldn't have made it. Yeah. Okay, we received what? I don't know what this is, but it is very cute, and it's in like a thin. It's almost like a macaron, and it's like a rice something, like a rice cookie or a rice cracker with a filling inside. There's yeah. two of those. Yeah. A peach sand. I think they mean like a peach sandwich. So it's almost like a um like a moon pie almost or a whoopie pie. There is 
it's just spring collection and it doesn't exactly say what it is yeah. i guess it's a muffin it could be a muffin it yeah it feels like it's got muffin paper on it sure some very very cute sakura con peto so i assume they're sakura flavor it's like the two cutest things in the world oh and i'm wearing a totoro shirt so that matches we also received sakura ebi and these feel very very light and there's a good amount of snacks in what here. What is an ebby? I don't know. Ebby, okay. I thought, was heavy shrimp. Because ebby is snake, I believe. Heavy is snake, but ebby is usually shrimp. But I seriously doubt this is shrimp. Could be. Could be. All right, we received, uh, I think this might be our tea, but I don't know. It is Nakajima I Tai Shodo. These were teas. Those are the teas. Those yeah. are Sakura teas. Everything is... Uh, ABC says this is so cool. I really, I'm really impressed with this box. Um, I'm a huge sucker for Sakura themed stuff. So I think I'm also getting the March Inku Crate, which is Sakura themed. And I know I'm getting the Zim Pop March box. <laughs> because I'm just a huge nut for cherry blossom things. Okay, next. I legit do not know what it is. But the wrapping is really pretty. Which peachish but it could be sun oh it's it's yeah, probably, sakura, it's probably yeah. sakura yeah so probably a cookie of some type you get a good amount of snacks these are our sakura our sweet sakura teas and you get two packets of them so uh joseph would you mind going ahead and starting our tea or do you want to go through the rest of the box and then start the tea uh what how much time does it say one seconds. minute. Yeah, I figured. Premium. It green is a tea brand new type seconds. of flower tea for the first time in the world, most suitable for serving guests with elegant flavor. Japan Green Tea Co. Limited. Kitty Cat says, "Wow, there's so many snacks." There in this. are a lot of snacks in this. I'm pretty impressed. Okay, then we get everything so cutely packaged. It's like a rice cookie or something. It's hard to tell. Um, so that's something else is most of these products don't have much English on them um, and they don't have much Romanji on them either. So it's a little hard for me to be able to parse them. That's why they included the guide and we're going to look at the, the guide in a minute. I was just thinking I'm a little disappointed they haven't included mochi, but there's one big thing in the box. How does it smell? It looks like it's loose leaf tea, actually. Oh, oh, interesting. It's like a tea paste. Yeah. Let me move the camera a little bit so you guys can actually see. Interesting. Now, what they also recommend is they recommend we put a lid of some sort on our tea. Whoop! It just went right in. So maybe what you should do is put the saucer on top of it. Yeah, I can do that. Oh, look. oh, oh my gosh, it's actual cherry blossoms. That is so cute. Um, I think this was about 30. I'm going to update the description after the stream with the actual price and links if you guys want to get your own. Uh, this is not we, this is not a collaboration with Sakura Co. Very pretty. They don't know I exist. I'm just a huge sucker for nice Japanese snacks and anything cherry blossom. Trying to see if it had a recommendation of how much water to use. We also received a Sakura and strawberry yeah. crepe it says roll. Four fluid ounces. This is probably closer to six, so it might be a little weak. And then finally, we get the big box. And I'm hoping there's mochi in here. We both really like mochi. It would be uh, pretty so cool. Did you want me to scoop out the leaves or you just wanted to start? Does it say anything about scooping out the leaves? I mean, most things you don't brew, you don't leave in the things longer than, no, it doesn't specifically say to take them out. Well, what we could do is we could try it and then if the leaves hinder the experience, we can remove them. Sure. So what is in this box? What is in this? Oh, oh, y'all. I mean, I'm a little disappointed that it's not mochi, but it's an actual plate. 
that you could have your snacks on. Good job, Sakurako. You guys. You use that too, uh, oh, well, you want to? Lid. I mean, I haven't washed sure. it. I mean, you're just sure. putting a lid on top. No, on top. You're going to do it the other way. All right, so let me move this sturdy box out of the way. It does have some gold foil accents. So I know some people like reusable boxes. This could be a good one. It's sturdy enough that I would mail somebody China in this thing as long as I packaged it well. So good job on the box as well. Okay, so. I don't want to try the tea or you think it's probably still too hot? Did the thing beep? Uh, yeah. That's oh, it did? That's why I was asking about scooping the Oh, out, okay. It, uh, it, it's been over for a while. Sure. Ooh. What do you think? Um, I think we definitely brewed it with too much water. Too much, it probably is closer to six fluid ounces. I don't know. It's somewhere between four and six. So it's probably about five fluid ounces. Um, Could use every pasta it smells for it. great, though. Well, a lot of the tea experience is how nice it smells, too. Yeah. There is a flavor to it. It's just very weak. Oh, it does smell nice. Is it a green? I don't know that this is a green tea. It's like a, a floral infusion. I can tell you what was in the paste. It's <clears throat> possible the paste was um a green tea. Yeah, it doesn't really taste like a whole lot. Um, I'm getting a little like pickled plum with my boche flavor to it. So these could have been pickled cherry blossom leaves. But other than that, it's not necessarily a strong taste. But I think because they sent a bunch of sweets, I think uh, it, yeah, sweets. and that's one of the things I was excited about with this box with this brand is like it is a pairing of teas and sweets. And I was like, that's about my speed. Very hot, but pretty tasty. Okay, so we are not gonna try every single sweet on the table, because that's a lot of sweets, but we're gonna try a few of them. And we've also got the menu. And what's neat is on the back, it says get extra goodies. Every consecutive month you subscribe, you earn a streak, your ticket to amazing rewards. As your streaks grow, you will earn more and more. Hmm, but you have to use a QR code to claim your streak. I'm kind of iffy about that. I love when boxes do loyalty rewards for like, oh, you've been with us a year. Have these bonus items. The, the print quality is nice. I'm, I'm trying to see if it, like, could someone just post a picture of this or is this QR unique to us? I could scan it and see, oh, that's the code, I guess. That's the, the code. Street. Because, so um, need to scan the like, um, sorry, y'all. Inku Crate does streaks as well. Sure. And I guess if you're subscribed to multiple boxes that use this system, you could earn more prizes. Yeah. So, um, anyway, this is the booklet they sent. The snack booklet. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I usually, when I'm doing, like, um, art snacks or Zen Pop, I do read the whole thing. But this is a, this is a yeah, book. Yeah, this seems like it's going to have, like, it, an order that they recommend you eat This really might be the first kind of box stuff. because they've got, sure, like, a meet the team thing. Yeah, it probably is. And, oh, this, so it's like a magazine, really. So they talk about, like, actually talk about the snacks included. Like, where they come from. So these are from Niigata. And what are these? Like, where they originate from or where the individual where the snack company was purchased from. from? Okay. So that's cool. These are, oh, they are rice crackers. Okay. This is really neat. So... I have been saying for a while that I wish somebody would do a snack box for adults. Not that adults can't enjoy the other snack boxes, but the other snack boxes are a lot of junk food and they seem like they're great for a party. And I wanted something that was like nice, nicer desserts and a nicer presentation and I could learn about where these things are coming from instead of just like, here's a box I mean, of ramen. The manual was nicer, but yeah. I don't know if the desserts No, are you're right. We haven't tried them yet. No, I'm saying the presentation. Some like, of them are really like, nice. This looks very nice. basic. This looks pretty basic. This is nicer than a regular tea bag for sure. Um, this is interesting, but not particularly nice. Okay. Like, I don't know. So these uh, so are, this, ooh, okay. Not only do they talk about the different foods, which we'll talk about in a second. They also talk about the history of different things. So Hanami in this example. And they also talk about woodblock prints. This is cool. Uh, their top five Hanami hot spots. And then they have a photo contest. Oh, cool. 
Philippines, they're giving away the Japanese Starbucks containers, which is Some really cute. Yeah. In Japan, even. Uh, oh. So mystery flavor says, oh, I think I've had those before. Pickled sakura tea is usually pretty light. Yes. But you're supposed to steep it for five minutes usually. Okay, well, it's been steeping for about five okay, minutes. Okay, but it has gotten this says stronger. one minute, so I don't know if this is just a um like a quick version, a convenience version, rather than like the traditional version. That's good to know. Thank you. Has it gotten stronger? Yes, yeah, slightly. Oh, good. Let's try it. Very hot. Trying to be delicate and interesting. Kind of like it. It's going to be good with sweets. So what I think we're going to do is, because you're the guest, I'm going to let you pick what sweets we're going to try. And then I'll look them up in the thing uh, and we'll so talk about I'm them. not interested in this. I'll try these later. They're basically sugar and uh, I love them. What is, what is the fish deal? That is a taiyaki, so it's a red bean paste. Okay. That would probably be something good to start with because sure. it's probably not super sweet. Mm, to um, my knowledge, no. And maybe that some is of shrimp. the rice crackers? Actual shrimp. Okay. I'm fine with it, but it's shrimp. It's Where's shrimp. the rice cracker guys go? Yeah. There are. Yeah. No. These. No, it's the muffin. Yeah. Uh, so which one do you prefer to try first? The rice crackers or the... I think the... we should do... The rice, like if we're gonna do the shrimp on the stream, we should do it first because it's or maybe last. I was shrimp do it is last. such a weird. Yeah. I love. We're from Louisiana. I love shrimp, but is shrimp a is a flavor. Than saying, let's work our way up to sweet. Yeah. And saying, let's eat something entirely different. That's gonna different. blast your taste buds. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna we will do this one because it seems cool, but I'm gonna put it aside for right now. Okay, so you want to start with the rice? No, one of these two. Okay, well let's start with the taiyaki. Okay. So would you unpackage it and I'll read it. So this is by Haraya uh, Shimame. Our team worked with Haraya, a well-loved Japanese sweet maker with 102 years of experience to create this fluffy fish-shaped confectionery filled with rich azuki sweet red bean paste. And you really like azuki. I like it more than I used to. I used to really not like azuki, so but I like it now. Very soft. Like, uh, it doesn't feel spongy necessary well it's not spongy in the way that you would imagine it would be i think is what i'm trying to say because it does still feel spongy uh mystery flavor says it could be i remember mine came in a fancy paper bag with a ribbon you said there was castella right that's my choice if we get a pick yeah we can, <laughs> we can try the castella. Yeah, products here there's the um these cute little things and then there's also this might, this looks like Castella. Now that I'm looking at it, this looks like it could be a Castella. Yeah, I, it's like a, a slice. Yeah, uh, I haven't. I, than... And I know this is a Castella. Sure. So, uh, so this actually smells a lot like an American counterpart, which is disappointing, but I'm sure it tastes much better. I don't know, it smells good to me. You want to break it in half? Or no, just, just take a bite. We're married. Okay. I've had very similar treats like this in America. Okay. And yeah, it does have some sweetness to it. The red bean paste is definitely the sweetest part, which makes sense. I like the outside. It has a nice pastry flavor. It is not like the taiyaki we had in Osaka that had the custard filling that had a crispier texture. This is softer. Yeah. The azuki flavor is not very strong it's very sweet it's pretty good um you're someone who really likes azuki i mean it's quality quality azuki but mm -hmm. like i said i've had something that tastes remarkably similar in america so i don't think that this is while you might not be able to get this exact thing in america i think you can get something that's so, close enough facsimile that a regular person wouldn't you're judging it by american accessibility that's okay. That I'm is an okay basis. It. I mean, it, to it judge. tastes fine. Mm -hmm. um, I would buy it again, assuming it's not that expensive. The design mm -hmm. is cute. The design is cute. Well, we did get a lot of snacks in this box, so I wouldn't 
even if one or two was not the big, oh, and this is a Castella too, sorry. Mm. Uh, even if one or two were not the biggest hit, that's fine with me. Yeah. I like the selection. I like that not everything is designed to be super sweet. No. Do you want scissors? No. This has a little tray. Mm-hmm. How cute it's tiny. has a little tray, too. I wonder if that's a theme. Oh, interesting. Oh, we did get mochi. All right. So, these... Their preservation packets look different, actually. Yeah, the other one's like a little flat thing. Do you want the last bite of the taiyaki? Not at this moment. I'll just move it aside. See, that's why we're not opening everything, is because we're going to finish eating everything we've opened. So, don't want to open a bunch of stuff and it go to waste. Okay, so those are the mini sakura senben, or senbai, sorry. It smells savory. They are, uh, they contain <laughs> shrimp. So that's part of it. I guess with shrimp or soy sauce. Using rice from Niigata Prefecture, known for producing the best rice in Japan, these soy sauce flavored mini rice crackers have a cute cherry Shrimp blossom. And soy sauce, yeah. Cute mini cherry blossom shape. Find out more about the maker on page four. So, for some of these, for many of these products, it seems like this um, this little like featurette is about that company. I think that's cool. I yeah. like learning about how things are made, where things are made, yeah. what We've the tradition is. Yeah, we documentaries about yes. all the traditional techniques of them. Yes. You gonna come here and I am, I am. I'm just trying to make sure people can So see. they are very crispy. They smell, like I said, like soy sauce and shrimp. shrimp. Mm. There's maybe a, a hint of sweet there that you can tell, but it might just be because I can see kind of a sheen on oh, it. Oh, you got a pink one, I'll get a white one. Whatever. I don't think they're going to taste different, but you never know. Probably not. Yeah, I like them. I like rice. I mean, I like rice crackers in general. The crisp I've is got good. rice crackers well. in the pantry. They're not at all stale. No, these are good. Very snackable. And cute as all get out. And yeah, they didn't get all crushed. Nice job, Soccer Coast. So the the crisp is like a very nice cheese it, I think. A little crunchier than that to me. Very cute. Yeah, it does actually seem like, it does actually seem like, there's that a lot of- It really brought out the shrimpy flavor. There's a lot of um, savory things in this, which I like. That's something, some, I think from what I've seen, other Japanese snack boxes either tend to be savory or sweet. These also have seaweed in them. They do, yes. Yeah. So these, the common allergens are, Flour, soybeans, gelatin, and shrimp. I do taste the seaweed though. These are good. Yeah. Good job. All right, we had a vote for Castella. And I don't think you can find anything like that easily in America. Which is a shame. You know, that's my big, okay. Tangent time. I'm 35. Well, I'm about to turn 35. Um, I would like anime cons that are also aimed at an older demographic, like our age. We watch a lot of Kenny Lauderdale's old vintage anime VHS finds. Um, and while I like new stuff, I also would enjoy cons that cater to a different audience. I mean, I've tabled at about a hundred different anime cons and it all starts to feel like the same con. Same music, same cosplays, same artists, same, same, same. Month, yes, that is one of the out. Castellas. Uh, a lot of these Japanese snacks you're supposed to There's a lot to of kind of stuff air. in here. Uh, mostly because Japan likes to keep things fresh in nitrogen. Um, I'm sure other countries do that as well. Uh, I don't know if Mer America does so much. I know our candy bar is definitely No, we just pump our nitrogen. food full of nitrogen, are full of preservatives instead. Yeah. Okay, so we tried two of the snacks so far. I'm giving it a thumbs up so far. I was impressed yeah. when I opened it and I saw how much stuff was in there and how it's not I don't know just. If the tray is necessary. Do it people keeps it serve from this at like a party or something? Like 
So snacks like that, you would eat it at your desk maybe, and that's just a way to okay. keep it without, keep it so tidy. an office person, yeah, instead mm -hmm. of having to dig your hand in mm -hmm. the bag. Like, you America is very dig it. your hand in I the bag I hate it, too. Focus. I don't like getting stuff all over my hands. Yeah. Um, I'm like a cat. Well, that's why very... you pour it in your mouth. That's at the end. You can't do that with a full bag of Cheetos. Sure you can. You'll get orange all over your face. Okay, so strawberry castella. Gently sweet and a little tart, the strawberry cream sandwich between fluffy castella cake made with brown sugar makes this Japanese cake the perfect light snack or tea time treat. I do think a lot of these were selected to complement the tea, so good uh, job. Mr. Flavor asked where we live. <laughs> Southeast Louisiana. Yeah, so pretty far away from Japan. Yeah, yeah, and honestly... Far away from their... most cultural centers. I mean, New Orleans has a, a, a decent amount of... Um, Foreigners, I guess. Cultural diversity, yeah. Uh, yeah, when I say cultural centers, I mean, I guess New Orleans is a We don't have like a, a Japan port, town, but, but there yeah. are, there's a lot of Vietnamese people who have moved here, and there are parts of like Metairie and Kenner where they, there's a lot of shops where you can buy those kind of ingredients and a lot of restaurants and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, a, and a the West our, Bank. A lot of our port tends to be more industrial, I think. So, At this point in time, yeah. Uh, so that, that precludes, you know, Things like a lot of Japanese treats and goods. We coming don't in or have whatever. an Angel Island or an Ellis Island. This isn't a port where people who are moving to the U.S. can start the process of becoming a citizen. Yeah. So, and I think that's one of the big reasons why yeah. we tend not to. We don't have to. a bunch of old Japanese ladies producing Japanese Delicious treats. Delicious mochi, yeah. yes. Um, okay, so this is the strawberry castella. I just read it. Do you think it's about ready? Yeah. It's definitely ready. Uh, I don't there know what is the paper, a paper on the inside wrapping. is about. I guess we're supposed yes. to open it. No, I don't know. Look, the picture shows the paper wrapping. I'm going to open it. Yeah. And then I'm going to taste the paper. I don't think it's rice paper, but... No, it doesn't look like it. It could be. It's kind of it translucent. It's kind of sweet. I'm not going to eat it. No, it doesn't break down the way rice paper does. Yeah. The things I do for y'all... It is a tiny piece of paper. I think I'm okay. All right. I would like to take the first bite this time. Sure. Uh, so while you're drinking, Mystery said, have you ever been to an actual Japanese festival hosted in America? We have one every year at the Botanical Garden. That sounds awesome. Kind of. Um, kind of. We've gone to the moon, 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 moon Viewing Festival in... Yeah, and that definitely focused on uh, Japanese culture and Japanese people. You know... Yeah, I'm just showing it. Thank you. Um, so this is very light. It feels airy. It is. And Bowie. It smells good. It smells... Bowie has been attracted by all the rice It smells cakes. very strawberry. Uh, I, I think it was made by a machine. It definitely looks like it was made by a machine. Come oh. on. It tastes like very, very fine angel food cake. It's good. It is good. And it would... Complement the tea. I it's a little dry though, yeah. So I because think the tea I think, would help. Yeah. yeah, I think everything they've picked is to go with the tea, and I appreciate that. That was one of the big draws because initially in the ad, I saw that they were talking about um, what's that smoky green tea I really like? Uh, gin matcha. No, no, the other delicious one. Uh, I have it in the pantry, powdered hojika. Hojika. Sorry. Okay. Uh, so, Mystery Flavor also says, What's about the Japanese exchange is signing partnership with our sister city in Japan. It's very legitimate. Some anime merch, but 90% is actual festival events, food, games. We have been to the Japan Fest at Noma yeah. multiple times. Or I've been multiple times. Sure. And it's held by... And the I Cherry was, Blossom was Festival in Nashville. I for you to finish. We have been to many Cherry Blossom Festivals. Uh, but that's almost more just like a general celebration than it is... Um, a celebration of Japan. So they do give out cherry blossom trees. They do have traditional Japanese events, and they have uh, some vendors mm. who focus on traditional Japanese things. But um, for the most part, I think people are just coming in, going to the food trucks, Pretty and much. just like and, having a good time outside the family. And the food the trucks at the Cherry Blossom Festival, it's basically lots of different types of Asian foods, um, and some American foods, and there's like a lemonade vendor. 
the Japan Fest in, at, in New Orleans at the Museum of Art is very similar to the Cherry Blossom Festival. And it's also uh, hosted by the Japanese American Society. I'm butchering your name, I apologize. And New Orleans does have a sister city, as does Nashville. Mm -hmm. I just don't remember because my brain is Unfortunately, not the best. Either. So that treat is my favorite so far. Okay. That was really good. I love the hint of strawberry cream inside. Uh, it's like the best Twinkie you've ever had, <laughs> basically. Yeah, that's a fair assessment. Uh, Mystery said maybe you could find one near you. Domino said, hey, Becca, tuning hey, in Dom from Lafayette. Hey, how are you? Mystery said, looks good. Kitty Cat says, kitty, because Bowie entered the front, yeah. I'm sure. Now he wants to hang out. He's on the chair right next to us. Uh, why don't you pick the next snack? I am going to. I already and know what I'm picking. Mystery says, that's really cool, too, though. Our festival is a summer festival, so we don't get to see the trees blooming. Oh, but you know, I've always wanted to go to, like, a summer festival. I think that would yeah. be really fun, too. So I want to do the Yoshino Kuzu Mochi. And it's a mochi, yay. Um, enjoy the elegant flavors of soft oh, and Oh, sorry, chin. Dominique. Dominique, oh. Yeah. Well, okay. hi, how are you, Dominique? Enjoy the elegant flavors of soft and chewy kuzu mochi, mochi drizzled with Okinawan brown sugar syrup and dusted with two types of kinoko, which is ro roasted soybean flour. In a bowl, top the mochi with the syrup and then kinoko to your taste. And they show this cute, little bowl so this is like a little kit this is like a thing okay this will be interesting it this sounds is fun good. this is something i feel like we could not find oh, yeah. there's no way we do our own local here. and you know um in nashville there was a really nice little japanese supermarket sonobana and they had just expanded as we were moving so they might have carried this because they carried fresh mochi that this little old lady made and it was delicious yeah so when, when my standard is like, can we find this in a store? I don't necessarily mean, can you find this in like a city like San Francisco where there's a lot of cool specialty shops? I mean, can you find this in like your generic? Do we need a spoon in order to come? I'm going to get a spoon and this bowl does not necessarily look big enough. Hello, Bo. Will it's you take over? Bulging a little bit, which is a little concerning, but I, I think, think it's just it's so filled cold. all the way. Yeah. I don't think it's like a botulism kind of deal. <laughs> yeah, I hope not. Uh, Drea says cute cat, and Mystery says fresh mochi is a whole different thing. It is a whole different thing, but I'm really excited to see as many traditional sweets as we have. Okay, I'm not going to give us a bowl. Instead, I have a cut glass little punch bowl cup that it would probably look very pretty in. There's no aroma, which I kind of figured. Excuse kind of you. White. Bowie would like to help himself. Can I get you to, will you go? Cute pudding? I think you should just break it up. You're going to have to break it up to eat it anyway. Drea said it looks delicious. We both like gelatinous things. We like custardy things more, which Japan is full of, but no custardy things yet uh, in the snack pack. I don't know. That strawberry thing was kind of custardy. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, there's a little tear pouch. I'm going to do the sauce first. Sauce Queen. And this is the brown sugar syrup. Do any of you guys watch, or have any of you guys watched Sweets Samurai on Netflix? It's about this uh, office worker who is obsessed. Wait, is it Sweet Samurai or Sweets Prince? Um, Because he signs it remember. as Sweets Prince because his rival signs her blog. I think if you just Sweets described Princess. the show, people in the comments were probably not. Probably no. Y'all seem like you like food too. Um, he is obsessed with traditional Japanese sweets, particularly on Mitsu, which is made with like gelatinous cubes and it has the brown sugar syrup and the kanoko flour. This is, really reminds me of the stuff he would eat. In fact, 
Joseph enjoyed that show and the guy's facial expressions when eating so much that when we went to Japan, he was very determined to find Onmitsu. But we went at the wrong. We went in March, and that is not Onmitsu time of year. No, it was. It wasn't cold out, but it was definitely cool out. And Onmitsu is a summer snack, from yes. what I understand. Uh, Mystery said, "Did it come with Hinako?" Yep. It sure did. Uh, and yes, that's the best. Ah, uh, the sweet tooth salary man. That's I think it. That's Thank it. you. Yeah. yeah. It's very jelly. I do I like, like how it smells. I like Japan's mild obsession with textures. We've got some liquidy stuff here. We've got some powder stuff, and we've got some gelatinous stuff. Um. It just seems to put a lot more thought into food than a lot of American foods. A lot of our food, it's so geared, pack, a lot of our packaged food is so geared to hitting the salty, fatty buttons in your brain that you don't get a lot of, new. I feel like you don't get a lot of nuance. I can't even tell if the mochi has flavor, because there's so much mm -hmm. flavor coming from the powder and from the, the liquid. Mm -hmm. I don't think it does, but the mochi has a really good texture. Yes. Especially for pre-packaged mochi. Yes. And as far as smell goes, all you can smell is like the powder, mm -hmm. in my opinion. But I like that. Yeah, it's oh. like a uh, peanut buttery kind of mm -hmm. powder. It's roasted soybeans, but I mm -hmm. really, really like it. So, uh, would you have a problem? Are you? Do you want to finish this snack right now? Um, I definitely think we need to finish that snack tonight. Yes. If you don't want to finish it right now, that's fine. Uh, I think we should at least eat half of it. Okay. Uh, Mr. Mm. says they focus on quality and craftsmanship. They mm -hmm. also aren't as overpoweringly sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or when they do sweet, like with like the competo, you're not meant to eat a lot of it. You're just meant to eat a little of it. Whereas... So, I would say this is probably the, other than maybe the shrimp, mm. this is probably like the scariest thing. Yeah. So if like you've never had Japanese streets before. That is also scary because it's pickled mm. cherry blossoms. And I think some people would look at that paste and be like, whereas I, I looked at that paste and I was like, interesting. Uh, you know, people like to talk about weird Japanese food or whatever. None of this is particularly strange. It's just interesting and kind of different. But what I like is I like that the informational booklet is very pretty. It's well presented. It sells you on the food, frankly. So... I could also see, if, if you're new, um, I also review a lot of craft kits for kids, craft kits for kids, um, and I usually will talk about like whether or not this kit is good to do together with a child, and I think this box is fun because it invites people to do it together. I want to have this mystery cookie thing. Give me a sec. I got to look it up. It definitely feels like a cookie. It's got a design on the outside. Okay, it is yeah. a Monica. Monica? Monica? Oh, so it's another mochi treat? It, Did you well, want to try something? No, it's now? not a mochi treat. It's a, um, I'll read it to you. Sakura lovers won't be able to put down this crispy... Sorry. Sakura lovers won't be able to put this crispy treat down. Elegant and mature sakura-flavored red bean paste, paste with chewy mochi. Flavored with salted sakura petals are sandwiched inside crispy monaco wafers. Sounds pretty good. And then these little ones here... Our Sakura Monica as well. So since we're doing one Monica, we're not going to do the others today. No, I'm just snapping half. No, it. go ahead and bite it. You're the guest. Oh, you're mm -hmm. making a not for me face. No, I think it is for me, but it's very different than anything you can get in America. First, I thought it was going to be much more crispy. Oh, it's not. It looks like it should be. The outside, yeah, it feels hard kind of on the outside. But it uh, it has a very, um, like, vanilla wafer kind of texture. I like this. Yeah, I mean, and the inside is some sort of mix between gelatinous and, like, a, like a, a jam. Yes, because it's azuki and mochi. Sure. 
Uh, I like it. I there is no treat with that texture in America, and it there's no treat quite like the taste either. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit plum like. What's the actual mm, like uh, umeboshi? Part of the flavor. Um 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 um. It is sakura flavored red bean paste. Okay, sakura flavored with salted sakura petals. So mm. that explains the kind of umeboshi taste. It's the salted pickled. Yeah. And it goes well with it the It has tea. a lot of interesting things going for it. It's much sweeter than most of the things we've had, actually. But it's not um, overly sweet. Although, it I is think a, it's because the amount of azuki paste that it's It's, it's an so in sweet. moderation, too. Like, sure. I couldn't eat three of these in a row. I would not want that. So, so far, what do you think of the box? I think it's pretty good. Uh, they definitely went for... A variety of things rather than just giving you. But it's a variety of things on a theme, and I am a sucker for a variety of things on a theme. Uh, Mystery asked what flavor it was. I think she was talking about this. So, yeah, it seems it, like it's Azuki and Sakura. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So, uh, uh, and I, I meant to mention the, the smell is a little off putting. I think it's some I sort of preservative. That. It, it smells like a burnt sesame seed to me. It's not so strong for me. I didn't notice it as much, and usually scents really bother me. And I'm specifically talking about the cookie. Mm -hmm. um, I, I say the cookie, the, mm -hmm. the wafer-like thing. Uh, I'm sure the sakura and azuki smell good, but since, you know, the, the wafer part is on the outside, that tends to be what you smell. Mystery said it might be the pickling that's causing the smell, I guess. That could be, yeah. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, similar. I was talking about, oh, you mean mm -hmm. between the two things? Mm -hmm. yeah. Would you like some more, a different tea, since we're almost done? Um, I think I'm okay. Okay. Um, so we're still gonna, we're definitely gonna do this, but I was thinking we could pick one more. Do you want to get the, the chat to vote on something? Yeah, that's a good idea. So we are going to do the shrimp uh, last. So we already tried something like this, right? That, we already well, tried I something think like this, this is a Castella, but I can look this up. Uh, so I think the muffin should be up for vote. The spring collection Kitsura muffin thing. Uh, I assume it's Sakura. It's got Sakura all over the packaging. Oh, hang on now. So this is a shrimp cracker and this is supposed to have a scent of cherry blossoms. So let's put the shrimp cracker over here. Oh, so what? This also has squid. So maybe we'll put them together. They can be friends. Uh, and I, you think, what is this? Sakura strawberry crepe roll. Okay, yes. that should probably be up for vote yes i'm thinking the muffin the crepe roll we've already had we, these yeah have we already had one of these is this just a um doria this is a peach sandwich so probably doriaki no there is a doriaki this is doriaki i'm sorry oh okay yeah oh and they recommended us trying this with the sakura tea but honestly everything we've tried with the sakura tea has gone well together so yeah. Uh, so let's get rid of the things that we're not trying. Mm -hmm. That would be easier, I think. Already tried this one. Yeah. So it's probably between those five things, because one of these two, at least, we're definitely going to try. Uh, so in chat, people say if they want us to try the... Green tea castella. Green tea castello. The, the peach sandwich. Peach sandwich. Uh, the, the sakura, sakura madeline. That's okay. what it is. Uh, the Sakura Strawberry Crepe Roll or the Doriaki? What are you leaning towards? People me? Picking? Oh, me? <sighs> we haven't had anything green tea flavored. We haven't so had that anything might be interesting. green tea flavored, yeah. And the muffin thing is weird. So. It's not that weird. It just kind like of can... domes up. Just because we haven't had any muffin kind of things yet. I guess. Try reusing the sakura petals from the tea in your next baking project or add them to white wine, Japanese sake, or a G&T, oh, a gin and tonic for a springtime twist. 
So does that mean we could just rebrew these? Because if that's the case, just pour some more water on them. I don't there. think we can rebrew them. I they they don't look like they have much oomph in them. They're very um, pretty though. So mystery says the peach or the green tea. Okay. So yeah. You Which, want something big or small? We don't have too much left over. We, yeah, we've done a pretty good job. Yeah. See the the bummer. So I think we could do the big. bummer is by doing this on camera, we don't have we can't make the sweet stretch. But it's also fun to share this. I mean, we still have other things. Yeah, but it's also fun to share this too. This has gotten very strong, actually. And so make it I like a tea party. Could add more water. I think I'm gonna keep the subscription. Uh, I say we go for the green tea. Green tea it is. Oh yeah, CN said green tea as well, and so did Kitty Cat. Awesome. So it's definitely green Makes tea. it easy. Yeah. All right, let me let me find it in the book. Let's show it first. Uji Matcha Castella by Ash Food Entertainment, Okayama. Rich Uji Matcha, one of the highest grades of matcha tea leaves and azuki red beans are baked into this moist castella cake to create a well-balanced and mature Japanese sweet. Okay, so it shouldn't be overly sweet because I still have that, uh, the azuki mochi. Yeah, it was very, very sweet. sweet. I yeah. think it was the sweetest thing, but um, they definitely get serious points for how Okay, it comes bizarre. in a little tray. Does it have one of those... Um, What's in the called packets? Yeah, I did have a preservation okay. packet. So we should we should let it sit for a minute. The packaging actually feels um, different. It's softer kind yeah, of. Yeah, it's more like a rubbery plastic. Yeah, than like it's a... not as crinkly as most plastics. You should do my art supply reviews. You're very. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, CM ha asked how much it was. Becca said she believes it was thirty. And I'm going to double check. That's shipping, right? Or that's not including shipping? I don't think so. I'm using my phone to record. Otherwise, I would look it up on my phone. Um, I found out about it through Instagram, and it might have been a deal. Um, I'm going to update the description, like, as soon as this stream is over and I'm able to update it with the price. But uh, the website, uh, I was hoping they would just give me a straight-up website, and they don't necessarily. Is this Azuki beans at the bottom? I believe so, yeah. But if you're watching along at home, uh, S A K U R A C O is not an affiliate link. Nope. <laughs> but it will give you a discount. I don't know if it will give them a discount. Oh, this one? No, that's just the code for this streak thing. Oh, okay. Soccer uh, code. Mystery says she has to go. So good night. Oh, good night. Thank you for your help. Uh, let's try this. Oh, it's got paper on the top too. Uh oh. Hmm. On just bottom. on the top. I love the green color that it matcha gives things. very matcha. You gotta be careful because you put caffeine. But I love matcha flavored things. Super good. It's very moist. Good matcha flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna be hyper. Do laps um, around yeah, the house. Yeah, beans give it a little bit of a crunch, but there's so few, it's not like... Distracting? Yeah, it doesn't have much of an effect. It, it sweet. honestly tastes... It's very sweet. Yeah, it is sweet. I mean, almost anything matcha is pretty sweet. Mm. It tastes... It's going to sound strange, but it tastes more like brewed matcha than it tastes like powdered matcha. Maybe it's because they cook it in the cake. That could be like it infused with the ingredients. Mm -hmm. You can have the last bite. Mm, actually. Uh, it's pretty spongy, but um, I don't, I don't know how to talk about the density of it. Like um, a sponge cake. Yeah, like a sponge cake. So if you deform it, cake. it stays that way, it doesn't just spring right back up. It's very moist, so it is really like a pancake. If somebody served this to me, minus the packaging, with a dollop of whipped cream or something, and said, I made this, I'd believe them. Sure. It doesn't taste overly processed or... No, no, um, no. It doesn't smell it either. It just smells mm -hmm, like matcha. Mm-hmm. Even though it had one of those little packets in it. 
Uh, yeah, see, um, almost all of this is um, more desserty. Uh, there are some things like some of these shrimp things, the shrimp crackers that are uh, just general snacks, Snackies. like chips or whatever. Yeah. But I would say like eighty five percent of it's what we got spots. is sweets, which I'm fine. I'm fine with. And I, their theme was sakura, and sakura tends to be paired with sweet things, sweets, so yeah. it makes sense. You can have the last bite if you'd like it, or we can set it aside. Having getting a little pile over here of stuff to finish to return to. Yes. Okay, so once you finish eating that, it's going to be on to our last one. And I think they're kind of the same. They're very similar. Let's say that. I haven't tried them, so I can't say, you know, oh, they're definitively similar. But And when you say last one, you mean last of the stream. Last of the stream. We have not consumed no. everything that came No, and I didn't want to take a bite out of everything and because I, I feel like that generates a lot of waste. But I think we... Um, we were able to present it. We're gonna have covered range. almost half the box. Mm -hmm. So, would you guys rather see the Sakura Sen Cracker, which is known for its mellow flavor, or the Sakura Shrimp Sembe, which is a um, it's a rice cracker? I think they're both rice crackers. The pound cake is almost velvety too. After you've been chewing it for a little while. I did like the azuki beans in it. I felt like they added a nice touch instead of being like too much. Yeah, so and that goes back to the textures thing that I was saying. Like Japan seems very focused on providing multiple textures and things. It's not like it's not just they're not just going to serve you just ice cream. They're going to give you ice cream with something that crunches in it or whatever. I mean, if you go to McDonald's, <laughs> they can get I'm talking about the general saucer. philosophy. I don't sure. think McDonald's is the epitome of Japan. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm just being silly. Uh, so what are you voting for? I'm voting for the, this is the shrimp one, right? Mm, they, well, well, this one is squiddy, mm -hmm. and this one is shrimpy. I'm voting for the shrimpy one. Okay. Uh, CM says, if you were in Japan, would these things be fresh or packaged? Uh, so Doriyaki would probably be fresh. You could get it either way. Um, exactly. Almost all these things Doriyaki. probably have a fresh version and a packaged yeah. version. Doriyaki is a popular street vendor food where they will make it. They have these big griddles and they'll make them there. Same goes for Taiyaki. They have these like, it's like a waffle irony kind of thing and you can buy it fresh and those are, they're so good when they're hot and it's a cold night. And the same goes for the layered cakes. Yeah, the Castellas. Um, um, but uh, something like these, these crisp or whatever, those likely don't have a fresh version. The crackers. Um, the Monaka, you can also get those at like a traditional confectionery shop. Uh, my one says sakura shrimp. Sakura so shrimp. All right. Going for the All right. Open it over the included sakura plate. I'm afraid I'm going to crack it, so I'll let you. Sha 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 it, huh? No. Shink! Just one big cracker, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, well, that's what they promised. One big cracker. Oh, it's supposed to be a star shape? No, it's, well, yeah, it's a sakura shape. Ours is. Uh, it's kind of like dusty. Like a flat soccer shape, but that's okay. It's kind it of pinky is, um, in color. It is more shrimpy than a shrimp. Oh, yeah. oh I am surprised is Bowie is not. oh shrimp right there. <laughs> I'm surprised Bowie is not he all over He didn't come over, over and us. instantly yeah. start meowing. He... So it's not actually wafting the entire room, but if you smell the thing, you get intense If you don't shrimp. like shrimp. This is not for you. Yeah. I do like shrimp, so hopefully I uh, like so this. So maybe we'll have to update scariest food to, to this thing. Well, I just mean like in terms of if a random person sure. who had never had Japanese tracks and snacks and wasn't very adventurous happened upon this box. Oh. What would they object yeah. to? I should have inflicted some of this on my mom and aunt then. The shrimp crackers would have been like... <laughs> oh. I am torn. Very shrimpy. It doesn't taste that shrimpy to me. To me, it's very shrimpy, but then it grows on you. 
Like that first bite was like so whoa shrimp. The closest thing I can describe it to, which shouldn't, which won't help to most people, is a pork crackling, which is <laughs> it uh, is like a pork crackling. It's fried pig fat. Um, it is a lot deep, like deep fried pig fat, I should say. Uh, so it's got that same kind of crunch. It's mm -hmm. not quite as not, not all pork cracklings are hard. Many of them, most of them are harder than this. Um, but it's got that kind of crunch. It's got that meaty flavor that pork cracklings have. It does, and it's yeah. Got it's got that little savory. bit of sweetness. This would be good in a ramen. Like, no joke, like you dip it in and oh, you yeah. take a bite. It would be, or in a salad too, you know, just to add. It's Definitely. very crispy. Made with 100% Japan produced ingredients. This fragrant, oh. <laughs> Sorry. Very dusty. Yes. This fragrant rice cracker takes its flavor from sakura shrimp. The simple salty taste and cute, it is very cute, sakura shape truly enhance the cracker. Well, I'll tell you guys, any food in cute shapes, I'm usually way more sold. And that includes chicken nuggets. It's very crispy though. Yeah. Uh, was it worth thirty dollars to me? I don't know. The experience, if you add in the experience, I think it is worth thirty dollars. Just for the snacks, though, I don't know if I'm gonna get thirty dollars of pleasure just from eating these snacks. That's just me, though. If I was just getting the snacks, if I went to a supermarket and I bought all these snacks, I would probably pay about thirty dollars. Because you also have to keep in mind, import fees do make these things a little more pricey. Yeah. And them coming together in a but box. See, that's the thing. If you're comparing, like, there's lots of American snacks that I, I do like. Yeah. Um, most like chocolate. Yeah. But um, often I'm looking for something different, and this does provide yeah, a different experience. This, this definitely will. And their American counterparts, like with these prepackaged cakes, I would never, as an adult, buy American prepackaged uh, cakes. Badoof recommends we hit up Daiso. <laughs> Badoof. Bless you. I totally. <coughs> Sorry. Bless you. There's something in that. In the rice cracker that is like making me sneeze. I wish, okay? I wish. I There's love no Daiso. Daiso. In this area. The closest one is in Austin. And when we lived in Nashville, it was in Chicago. I love Daiso. The um, beef says bless you. Thank you. It's just something in that cracker. I'm going to return a boo to some of the other snacks. Uh, CM does not seem to be uh, sold by the, the shrimp biscuit. <laughs> Um, I, I think you should try it, CM, if you if ever you get a like chance. If you don't like shrimp, you're not going to like it. Yeah, that much is true. Um. I do like shrimp. Madeline so. says, I generally enjoy shrimp-flavored snacks. I'm a sucker for cute snacks, and the packaging is cute, too. Same here. But it can't just have cartoon characters on it. It has to be, like, well-designed. Uh, CM said, we just moved to California. I can't wait to go to Dyson. I'm so jealous! <laughs> There are so many really fun stores at your Mido. Um, Muji, I love Muji. Um, so what I was also going to say regarding the quality of this box is I like the presentation. I like the booklet. Mm -hmm. I like that it talks the, about the postcard, which isn't a mailable. Well, postcard. maybe next time they'll do a mailable postcard. Mm -hmm. Please, Sakura Co, do mailable postcards. We will actually mail them. And then other people might buy the box because they'll see the awesome postcard and they'll be like, oh, what's this? Um, I like the curation of the snacks. I like that they're themed. I'm going to continue the subscription at least to one more month. So sure. we can, you know, we can actually see. But I, I love snacks. So um, the booklet is well produced. Um, it is well written. Sometimes when I do these boxes, I will get... Um, descriptions that are difficult or confusing to read because they're they were not proof read by a native english speaker or someone who's very fluent in english this seems like it is um very coherent and easy to read um they also sort it out like i didn't notice this until just now but you have a section called this season's must tries you have a section called savory snacks i also like that they pair a tea with this and it makes it more of an experience yeah, rather than a bunch of said. random To me, that's snacks. what makes it worth the $30. Yeah. Rather, like, you can sit down with your family, yeah. read through the book with a little, everybody gets Try some something. snacks. Try something, yeah. Maybe you have a board game going on or something. Uh, maybe you're just watching anime. I don't know. Yeah. But it's, 
it's it sounds better than just having chips mm -hmm. or something. I mean, it sounds a little dorky, but with COVID and you can't just go places necessarily, more and more people are doing things or trying to find things that are entertaining to do at home. Something else I really like about this, not all of the snacks are sugary, sugary, sweet snacks. And even some of the sweet snacks are more healthy sweet snacks. So it's not just like you're eating a bunch of, it's all processed food to be fair, but it's not like you're eating a bunch of garbage. So it would also be cool. cute if they did. I mean, I know mailing makes this difficult because everyone gets their boxes at different times. Yeah. But it'd be cute if they did, you know, speaking of the experience, like a watch party on Amazon or whatever, where they play some traditional thing or whatever and everyone okay, sure. eats their snacks and yeah. talks about We can all watch NHK and eat our snacks. I mean, it doesn't have to be NHK, but yeah. Well, I really enjoyed this. And I really appreciate you joining me for this. It is so hard to get Joseph to, because he's doing his own stuff. It's hard to get you to like collab with me. But I think you really bring a lot to the, especially with the food, you really bring a lot to the experience. So thank you. And hopefully you'll join me next month with our next Sakura Co. Because some of the other people I could invite would just hoover all of it up. And you'd be like, was it good? And they'd be like, I don't know. Uh, speaking of, if you like Japanese things, you should check out Becca's Japanese-inspired comic. No, no, that's not fair. It's really more Louisiana-inspired than anything else. I just happened I mean, the art style to have been inspired by manga influence. when I was growing up, and it sure. includes my art, but I wouldn't call it Japan-inspired. What is more Japan-inspired is when we actually went to Japan and we created a bunch of videos about our Japan oh, our trip sure. to Japan. Yeah, too bad I can't easily share a... Uh, link to that in the channel, but if you search on um, Becca's YouTube channel, you should be able to find our Japan, Japan trip trip. videos. Uh, so we went to Osaka for five days, Kyoto for four days, and Tokyo for three days. And ate many snacks and bought many art supplies. Uh, CM says we have a Muji around the corner, which is mind-blowing to me. I love Muji! Madeline says, I thought Muji closed your locations in California. Uh, Sam says we're still in lockdown. Mm. Badoof said treat me. I think. Mm. Oh, he said tea time. I'm sorry. Yes. Um, Sam said so maybe it's a location that closed and hasn't been plastered over. Mm, that could be. I haven't gone to it, but saw this sign. That's disappointing if it's not actually. So they could be wrong. We're still in quarantine until we can get our vaccine. Yeah, unfortunately, that's that's most oh, people. A lot of people. Moment. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think Sakura Co. could do to improve? Continue a good job. I mean, like I said, I think it'd be a good idea to lean into the experience since other things don't seem to have that and they've got to start this. They do, life. yeah. It, it gives them. And they sent a cute plate. Yeah. So they, I feel like they are trying, and tea. I feel yeah. like they are trying. I forgot about the plate. That might tip it over to worth 30. the $30. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would like to see more savory snacks, but I am biased. I mean, you don't know what they're going to do. Exactly. Maybe, maybe oh. next month it'll be soy sauce oh, say, or say, something. Oh, I would like that though. Um, <laughs> and they'll give you different light and dark soy sauce. I treats. also hope that their boxes, when there's a festival, I hope they lean into foods that are popular with those particular festivals or specific traditions or like give, actually teach me something. You know, which I think they are doing. I would like to see them continue. I like that. I'm I'm a big nerd. Assuming though. we read the book. <laughs> I'm gonna read the book. I just have to stick yeah, my hands right. right now. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I think we're just about finished. Yeah. I want to thank you guys so much for joining us. This was a lot of fun. I had a yeah, really good time. I don't time. think they sent us anything that we wouldn't eat. Like that, that we wouldn't be true. happy to eat. That is true. Even. Well, or, I'm not happy to eat these. But I'm gonna it eat those. Like I are. like them. So this is and just sugar, cute. right? Yeah, they're, it's cute sugar. Um, but everything Very else seems sugar, seems sir. nice, and it, it's it's the kind of. It snack. is also a traditional treat. Yeah, I'm not saying it's garbage. I just don't want. Yeah. It. <laughs> um, the other thing 
if Sakurako were to send something that I would be a little uh, about in a way that would be good because it would broaden my horizons. So I like that they have thrown in some things that to many Americans are a little iffy. Like, because I really liked the shrimp cracker and I was kind of, I don't know about it. Um, so it, it's a great way to broaden your horizons and not that it is Sakurako or Japan's job to broaden our horizons, but it's cool. And when I bring people to Louisiana, or when people come see us in Louisiana, I always take them out for like crawfish or crabs. So, yeah, you know, anyway, I really enjoy this. I'm looking forward to next month. On that note, I do believe- uh, The do fast one the next live stream was. Tomorrow night, because I've got some cheap watercolors from Dollar General, Five Below, and Dollar Tree. And I thought the best way to review them would be as a live stream. I thought that would be the most entertaining for me and for you guys. I'm also waiting for, I think I have one more Inku crate coming in because I think they charged me and I was just like, sure. And I have a Zen Pop coming in. So I'm kind of hoping I can compare the two. I really like Zen Pop. Like do a devil unboxing you mean or unbox them and unbox then compare, them and then the, compare contents the contents on the contents. stream? Yeah. Okay. No, uh, do the unboxing on stream oh, and then okay. compare so the boxes as a standalone video. Okay. Because I don't know, I don't know when I'm going to get each one, so I don't want to hold a Zim Pop box all month. Yeah. Because I don't know when Inku Crate ships theirs. Um, see, I liked I, I the whole time I had a Zim Pop subscription, I was really pretty satisfied with it. Whereas a friend of mine who also really likes Japanese stationery saw the Inku Crate unboxing and thought that looked really good. And I kind of blew my mind because I was like, I did not really like that box. Yeah. So it just goes to show you it's all about what you like and yeah. your taste. Um, and so me liking the Sakura Co. box, me feeling like it fits our taste. I'm not putting down any of the other boxes out there that cater to other people's tastes i'm just saying that from what i've seen in their advertising they did not seem like something i would enjoy or it seemed like they included stuff i could go get at golden um golden city asian market so but not everybody has a good asian market in their area so i can see the appeal and also getting similar boxes on amazon is really really expensive and the reviews are normally like, this box is disappointing. They didn't send what was in the picture. And I don't mean like exactly what was in the picture. Like the picture will show all these snacks. And then the photo the reviewer includes, is like hardly any snacks at all. Yeah. And I felt like Soccer Co. did a, a really good, box. exactly, yeah. it was a hefty little box. I was thinking about that. Like they must have chosen things specifically based on their size in order to be able to get them in there good. Get so much stuff in there. But yeah. I didn't feel like anything was not part of it yeah. nothing there was nothing in this box that there's i was no like crown. right there was nothing in this box that i was like why did they include this you know all right guys have a wonderful evening i'll see some of y'all tomorrow night with our cheap watercolor showdown bye guys gotta poop around to the camera uh Madeline said Miniso is another fun store to check out. Ooh. I don't know if it's Miniso or Miniso.